So Callan and I came out here after work to pull suckers off the tomatoes. And here in a little while, we're gonna get them vined up in here so you can see they're all growing over there. We have them on both sides of our high tunnel. And we're gonna string them going up, hopefully to that pole. Um, these tomatoes should get about six feet tall by the end of the season. And so we're pulling the suckers off so they can reach their full potential. So hopefully it'll all go good and we'll be able to get more produce and more tomatoes off of these vines. So for those of you that don't know what a sucker is on your tomatoes, um, it's like pruning a tomato plant. And I actually didn't know about that until this year. And for tomato plants that are, tomatoes are naturally viney plants. So, but some are more of a bush variety. So we have a kind that's more of a vine variety. Um, they just have a tendency to grow longer um, than like your smaller ones, like your cherry tomatoes or things like that. But, so anyway, you have to prune them and take the suckers off so they can reach their full potential. Um, and they'll still produce pretty well, but you'll just get more off of it by taking those suckers off. So I'll show you what those are. So here you can see the main stem bolt of our tomato plant. And right here is a perfect example of a sucker where you have your main stem and you have your tomato branch coming off and coming up right here and like the armpit, that is a sucker. So you wanna take those off of your plants so that your plant doesn't have to produce as much for just the bush part of it. Um, that way there, you get more, more buds on it um, and you just end up having a healthier plant. Now I haven't done this in a little while on a lot of these, so I do have some bigger suckers on a lot of these plants like so if you look down here see how this one's thicker um it act this right here it actually is a sucker but it has gotten massive because i haven't come down here and pulled them off so we're gonna go ahead and pull it off even though it's pretty big um i want the plants to get pretty tall so we're gonna take that off and help the plant continue getting bigger I told Callan that bird, wherever it is, I don't know where it's at, but every time it goes, Arr! I was like, it reminds me because you just watched George of the Jungle. So I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey, sucky, sucky. <laughs> Callan's like, okay, mom. <laughs> he just kind of, he was just like, yeah. <laughs> My man, a few words, huh, Cal? Yep. Yep. <laughs> he needs a poster in his room. It just says, yep. Hey, stab it. What's your motto? Yep. <laughs> Is that no. a yep or nope? <laughs> By what words do you live your life? Yep. Tomato or recently resurrected tomato? Oh, uh, no. I'm not sure. It's 
not a new one. It's been in here the whole time. It's just not thriving. Well, I know we had several that like died. So I wonder if your uh, flooding helps. Except this side doesn't flood. It's this other side that does. It all flooded out that way too. Hey Ben, you can help with the other side. Opening up those sides, sure pull it in. Oh. I don't know if you can feel it. What darling? Oh. You got it cheeky. I know. There's one bag in that. So here's an update. She is one of the first chicks that we had. Oh, they've gotten big. I'll try to show you what you're doing right there. But so she is part lavender Orpington, but I'm just not sure which hen she's mixed with because we don't have any solid black hens in our coop. We have a speckled Sussex and we have a golden laced wine dot. I think so other than that, I think it might be the golden laced wine dot she's mixed with. But other than that, I don't know what she could be mixed with. But she's Coda's favorite. And pretty soon, hopefully this week, they're gonna be going to a new home, which is good because we have another round of eggs getting ready to hatch here in a week so that's exciting but i'm ready for them to be gone but they're good chickens too they're calm especially here well because you because you guys hold them a lot that's why they're calm calmer than the rooster though way calmer So, Callan is getting the twine up. Robert's putting um, wire around the top that we can hook it to. And then once we get it done, we're gonna use these nifty things. They're great, we got them off of Amazon, but they're actually made for tomatoes. So you just put it around your plant and the, the vine and the twine where you want, or string, there you go. So, pretty easy stuff. Here we go, it's all done now. We may at some point need to switch out the string, but for now we'll see how well it holds up. But we just kind of wrapped them on there and put the clips around it. And then they're just tied like that up there at the top. So they have plenty of room to grow now. So I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. It's a little bit of an experiment for us because we haven't grown our tomatoes quite like this, but I'm excited.